Hello and welcome to another Crystal Maze video. Now today we're here in the beautiful Eastern Zone. Okay, we're not really. It is actually my living room, but I have decorated it like the Crystal Maze's Eastern Zone. And what better place to review these next screen-used props from the show than the Eastern Zone. Now these were used in the game Tiered Panda. And first up is the instruction slate. Now I did review this in a previous video, so I'm not going to go into too much detail with it. But as you can see, the instruction will build the panda on the hinged platform. Now this game appeared in the Eastman family episode, the Williams family episode, and the Lefors episode. So that is the instruction slate that was bolted onto the walls. And as I said before, it's just wood. I've got a ribbon because it is actually going on my wall there. Uh, very similar to the other one there. So that's first up, that's the instruction slate, as I said. Um, in the UK version of this, they had to build um, a tiered house or a pagoda. And in the Christmas special, it was a snowman. And they had sections of a house or a snowman that they had to put onto this platform without it tipping over and knocking the pieces off. If they knocked three pieces off, it would be an automatic locking. So let's have a look at the panda that the American families had to build. Now this is the panda here. I shall bring it in a bit closer for you. It's a very, very nice piece of work. It's kind of like um, styrofoam or polystyrene, uh, with like a plaster coating. Um, and it is quite sturdy. But it's, it's also quite light as well. So there you go. And as I said, that comes in sections. So I'll just show you, there was the head section first, then the arms section, the waist piece, which is slightly angled, and then the feet part, which was like the uh, posterior, to put it politely. So that was uh, the pieces that were placed at one side of the room. The contestant had to hold a rope with the platform, take the pieces across, place them onto the platform without them dropping off. And as I said, if they drop three, it will be an automatic lock-in. Now, the next piece of this game that I have is this part, which is basically the crystal release mechanism. Now, again, it's another panel, as you can see, it's, it's built the same. It's polystyrene and like foam and then this sort of plaster outer edgy. And again, it's quite solid, uh, painted, very detailed as well. And the same for the, the body part. And then the base, which housed the electronics and the mechanism for the release crystal, uh, is gold, red, gold and black. And as I say, all the mechanisms in there, so it's quite heavy as this bit. And then we have these sort of pieces of bamboo to cover the wedges that support it. Again, it is quite a heavy piece, as I said, because it has the, the metal um, pieces inside. But again, a very nice piece. Um, it, there, is a piece there is some wire coming from the back as well, but because it's not plugged in or wired into the maze, that is um, stuck in the up position at the moment. That would go down to complete a full panda and then once the game was completed successfully, that would rise up. You get the crystal from in there. So it's a lovely piece. The only thing I don't own from this game is the, the flame holder. It was like a big platform thing and it had three flames. And as I said, if you lost a life, one of the flames went out. But still very nice. I got these, my friend Neil acquired them for me. So I'm very grateful to that. They now take pride of place in my Eastern Zone living room. I've still got a few bits more to do. I've got the curtains to get yet. Uh, but we're getting there slowly and surely. So that's it. I do have some more Eastern Zone props later on, which I will be doing another video very, very shortly. But in the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you like my genuine crystal maze collection. So until next time, goodbye.